In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we would be seeing that what is a pivot chart and what is its significance. We are also going to create a pivot chart for ourselves with the data in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. So first of all, the question is, what is a pivot chart and how is it different from a normal chart? So as we have already discussed about the pivot table, so you may recall that a pivot table is used to display the data dynamically while a normal table displays the data statically. Similarly, the pivot chart also is used to show the data in a dynamic format. That means if you want some data, if you want to do some analysis and the data you want to change over time, if you want the data to be filtered as per your requirements, as per your choice, then you can go for a pivot chart instead of a regular chart. And these pivot charts are widely used all over the world in presentations and other things like that, where you want to uh, give an analysis of the data. So let's start with our procedure of uh, the making a pivot chart in Microsoft Excel. On your screens, you can see there is an Excel sheet with a table that has three columns, the product, quantity and the sales. So we have some uh, five products in front of us and the total quantities that we have. And in the past month, how much of the sales of these products we have done? This is the data that we have got. Now we want an analysis for this kind of a data. So we want to create a pivot chart out of it. How can we do that? For that, what you got to do is just first of all, uh, bring your cursor or select any cell that is within this table, then go to this insert tab. In the insert tabs charts group, you will find this pivot chart option. So once you click on this arrow, there are two options. You want to create a simple pivot chart or you want to create a pivot chart along with a pivot table. So I'm just going with a single uh, pivot chart this time because we already know how to create a pivot table and customize it from our previous videos. Now, once you do that, you can see this kind of a menu or a dialog box has been opened. And apart from that, all the data table uh, that was your required data range has now been selected with these dancing arrows. Now, if you want, you can just customize it like this. Or even if you want, you can choose an external data source as well from this option. But we are choosing this all only. Then there is another option that it asks you that what is the destination of your pivot chart? If it is going to be a new worksheet or if it is going to be an existing worksheet. So I'm going to go with the existing worksheet. Then the next thing it asks for you is the location. So you can just choose any location that you like. And I'm choosing this location. And when you just click on OK, then you can see this kind of a dialog box opens in front of you and nothing is on the sheet. OK, there are just some calculations going on. And this kind of a dialog box is the main thing that you're going to be concerned with. So out of this data, what do we want is a comparative analysis of the products and the quantity and its sales. So how can we do that? There are these four field areas. So for the product, what we are going to do is just check on this box. As soon as we do that, you can see that it has automatically added itself in the axis of categories. Okay. And in the chart, this is actually a chart area. This kind of a drop down has occurred for the product. OK, now for the values, what do we want is quantity and sales. So just select this quantity option. And as soon as you do that, you can see that your chart has created with the quantities of these different products. But I don't only want the quantities, I want the sales value as well. So you can just check on this sale as well. And as soon as you do that, you can see that your chart has created. And that is the pivot chart that we have created. You can close this dialog box for now. And if you can just see on this chart, then this is exactly what we wanted. This is a pivot chart. It has dynamic content in it. Now, how can we use that dynamic content? So. First of all is this product value. If you can just click on this drop down, then you can see all these products are selected. But what if we do not want all these products to be visible on our chart? We want only some products like suppose we want to do a comparative analysis over the belts and shoes. And then you can click on OK. So you can see only belts and shoes data is visible. 
if you want you can just apply more filters if you want you can add wallets to the filters you can click on ok now these three data are visible to us but what if uh, you do not want wallets to be in here you want watches instead you want to compare the data of belts and watches you can just do that as well so basically the filters option helps you to filter only the data that you want to show okay so that is on the basis of products and if you want you can also just go to select all option or you can just go on clear filter from product to remove the filters and show all these data but now these data are shown actually in a sorted order but what is the sorted order they are actually sorted on the basis of the products okay like in the ascending order b f s w and w but what if you want to change the sorting order how can you do that you can just go to this products option if you want to sort it by the product name itself but in the descending order then there is this option of sort z to a you can just click on it and you can see that they have now been sorted in the descending order as per your wish but what if you do not want to actually sort it by the product names but you want to sort it by the quantity that you have of these products so how can you do that you can just go to this products option itself and there is this more sort options so you can just click on it and once you do that uh, it asks you that whether you want to sort it by in the ascending order or in the descending order so i want to sort it in the ascending order then all these three values are available that are in your chart out of which you can select a criteria for yourself so we want to select quantity as a criteria so you can select this sum of quantity and you can see that sort product by sum of quantity in ascending order so that is the sorting that is going to be applied over your chart now you can just click on ok and you can see that the data has now been sorted according to the quantity in the ascending order and all the other data such as this product name and the sales have been arranged accordingly and uh, now what if you want to change the sorting criteria you can just go to more sort options and instead of sum of quantity suppose you want to sort it by sum of sales you can do that as well so now it has been sorted according to the sales now what if you do not want in the ascending order you want in the descending order you can go with that as well for the sum of sales okay in the descending order similarly you can go for the descending order for the sum of quantity as well and ok so that has been sorted by sum of quantities in the descending order now one more thing is uh, if you just select on this product option there are these label filters and these value filters what if you want to show only some of these values so if we just go to these value filters we know that these values can only be applied to the quantity or the sales option so you can just go to it and i only want to show some data that is greater than then what it asks you is three things that first is what is the criteria you want to uh, just sort with the help of the quantity or with the help of sales so i want to show uh, it with the help of quantity is greater than so this is the table that i'm having if the quantity is greater than 500 only then i want to show the records then click on ok so you can see that uh, actually the watches have been removed from the area of visibility because it was 200 so this is how you can apply filtering criteria if you can just uh, go to clear filter options then it would be cleared like this then now you can see all these records are visible similarly for the product there are label filters available if you want uh, to show a particular data a simple option would be to just go with these um, options over here checkbox options but if you want to show like begins with so what is it begins with suppose i say the letter w i type capital w and i click on ok so only two products that is wallets and watches are actually starting with the letter w and that is the filtering criteria that i have applied and that is why it has shown me only these two records so that is for the labels similarly you can apply these all these kind of different filters to the labels criteria and all these uh, different filters to the value 
criteria as well now i'm just clearing the filters from here so this is to show you that how a uh, pivot chart is a dynamic chart and you can customize its data as per your wish and if you want to customize its appearance then how can you do that you can just double click then there is this format chart area options and it is similar to formatting a regular chart so if you want some other color to be shown for these bars instead of the blue color you can just select these bars go to this fill option and instead of blue select some other color suppose green is what i'm happy with you can just go for it if you want you can just change the overlapping distance between them you can overlap them you can make them distant you can increase the gap between the bars and that's totally up to you so that's how you can customize and use a pivot chart in microsoft excel 